What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the Baron Necessity TCG and today we are going to be looking at some Lorcana into the Inklands. It's been a while since I've opened any Lorcana. I know I kind of said I wasn't going to do it anymore, but I did find this box on sale for $90. So I just had to pick it up. Uh, I believe this set has uh, like Scrooge McDuck, McDuck and a bunch of other fun characters. I'm still waiting for them to get to uh, Darkwing Duck. I think they'd be so cool if they included him into the game, which I'm sure they will. It's just a matter of time before they have all those uh, characters that I grew up with and loved watching. But I decided to give this game kind of some time to, uh, to breathe as far as there wasn't a big card pool um, in the first set. So when I was... Uh, when I was playing and getting into it, I was like, the deck seems very limited and everything. Uh, but now they have locations, which make it a little more interesting. Uh, it's been a while, so bear with me. They give you some new location, kind of how they work in there. But Audrey Ramirez, what what is she from? I don't know that one. Uh, Tinkerbell. And a cold foil piglet. Off to a good start, although I don't know what the values are currently. So I'm just looking to get some hits as far as an enchanted would be very cool. I've only pulled one enchanted and that was out of a gift set. But since this is a little older of a, not older, I shouldn't say, it's an old, pausing to collect thoughts. It's, this set has been out for a while as far as, you know, when it comes to, you know, YouTubers and opening is new. So I'm just going to skip through the commons and uncommons. We got Magicka Dispel. Uh, what does she do? Let's see, shift five, whenever this character quests, gain lore equal to the cost of one of your items in play. Uh, I'm sure they probably have Scrooge's Lucky Diamond here. Robin Hood. And a Cold Foil Common. Great. I might have the rarities mixed up, but it's fine. We're just going to roll with it. See if I can make my money back. Peter Pan, Little John, and a Cold Foil Cursed Merfolk. So far, so good as far as the Cold Foils go. And then along came Zeus as the song. Maui's Fishing Hook, and a Cold Foil Jolly Roger. But I'm still curious how everyone is enjoying the game. Is it one of those just fads that's going to disappear, or is it still going to have a lot of, um, of actual players? I can see this having a lot of collectors, just because anything Disney. Peter Pan... The boss is on a roll. And 99 puppies. But I worry about the future of Lorcana, kinda. You know, there's a lot of card games that came out. You have, um, you know, Star Wars. Everyone's, you know, everyone's talking about that now and the prices of the boxes are going up. Uh, it was almost the same thing as Lorcana, but it seems like they had their um, they're, they're, how do I say it? They had a better grasp of distribution and getting it out there. Um, because, well, at some point I couldn't get Lorcana, I can still get Star Wars. It's just a little more expensive than when it first came out. Friend like me, Rafiki, and an Iago. I miss the like the little puzzle pieces. Now it just has has these. These are kind of 
kind of useless. I think most people would have grasped what to do with the actual uh, location cards without the need to be put in there. Uh, we had a Lucky and a uh, Madame Medusa and just a Magic Broom. I need to go research what the actual big hit is as far as the, um, you know, the good playable cards in here. Bell's House. What does Bell's House do? Uh, Marcus's Workshop. Laboratory. If you have a character here, you pay one less to, pay, to play items. They're giving some support to the item decks. That's pretty good. Um... Kita? I'm not sure. Protector of Atlantis. I don't even know who that is, though. And then a Windy. Again, doing pretty good on the cold foils. As far as, uh, you know, got some pretty rare ones. Razul. Magic of Dispel. Just a uncommon. I want to see what this does does telekinesis return chosen item with cost equal to or less than this character's um to its player's hand hmm. attack cost i was like what am i gonna what is that um <laughs> uh, that'd be kind of cool maybe a bell slash magica dispel kind of deck with you know with items might look into that starlight vial Treasure Guardian, and an Ursula. Which I think she's going to be the highlight of the next set, right? Skippy. As we skip the commons. Alright. Pyros. Helga Sinclair. And Patch. No actual enchanted yet. We might not get it this go around, but that's okay. Moana and Stitch. Gramatala. She has quite a bunch of cards, actually. I think people just like Gramatala. Bernard and Simba. John Silver, there's Scrooge. Does he work with items? Uh, Scrooge make duck, richest duck in the world. I'm going home. During your turn, this character gains evasive. I didn't get rich by being stupid. During your turn, whenever this character banishes another character in a challenge, you may play an item for free. A lot of item stuff going on. Makes me wonder how that, you know, the decks are doing based around items. Maui, Pluto, and Helga. Oh. Ariel, Hydra. It's a nice rare we got there. Hydra, Deadly Serpent, watch the teeth. Whenever this character is dealt damage, deal that much damage to chosen opposing character. It's got a beefy 6-5 on it to lore, but you can't ink it. That's probably the my favorite mechanic out of Lorcata. Because there's other games where you can play it, any card as a resource, but Lorcata limits... Uh, uh, 
kind of limits you on which ones you can play. So it's not all of them. So you won't get completely mana screwed, but it's still a possibility. The Sorcerer's Hat. And Gyro Gear Loose. Why don't you remember him? That's terrible. I'll have to go look him up. Gustav the Giant in a cold foil. Hades, getting some love. And Simba, oh, that is three lore on Simba, two cost, non inkable. Dies easy though. But even if he did just get one, uh, one turn, three lore is pretty good. Another piglet. Alice. And a Captain Hook cold foil. Blazing through this box. Oh, that one. That one opened a little weird. Aurelian Gyro Sensor. Shenzi. I never knew what the actual hyena names were. No attack. 06. Uh, I'll handle this while this character is at a location. She gets plus three. Is that Whoopi Go Goldberg's uh, hyena? Um, well, this character is at a location where she challenges another character. You may draw a card. Okay, a lot of location play going on. Oh, this makes me want to turn on Pixel Pixelborn and start playing some games. This location thing has me interested. Has me intrigued. I want to see a more more uh, variety of decks. Uh, the bare necessities. This is perfect. This matches my actual channel name. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this one. Uh, Little John in Voyage. Alright, we got three packs. Three packs. Let's get rid of this box. I think Jafar has my Enchanted in it. Put that aside. Getting excited. We're third away from getting that Enchanted card. Three away. Gustav the Giant is not it. And neither is RLS Legacy Solar Galleon. I don't know what that's from. Feel like I should, but I don't. Okay, two away from getting my enchanted. Fang. River City, and Ursula Sea Witch, and the Queen's Castle Cold Foil. What does that do? At the start of your turn, for each character you have here, you may draw a card. That seems amazing. I was having trouble with card draw when I was playing Pixelborn. It's like I ran out of steam halfway through. I'd be like, all right, I'm almost there, trucking along, and then I was top decking everything. Pride Lands. I got the lucky dime though. Uh, uh, tap and then two. Choose a character of yours and gain lore equal to their lore counters. This could be pretty good with. Um, was it Simba? The one, the one that had the three lore. Seems like it could be pretty good. And then Sir Hiss as the last card. Oh, so there we have it. The biggest hits we have here that we pulled is going to be the Hydra, Akita, 
and then the Robin Hood, followed by Lucky Dime. This makes me want to make an item deck. I think it'd be really cool to mix a lot of um, Beauty and the Beast, which with DuckTales, and just really make some item decks going. I think that'd be really cool. I might play around with that with, um, you know, with Pixelborn and everything. But that is my box. What do you What do you think? Uh, I haven't looked at any of the, the prices on anything, but they will be down pinned in a comment. That way you can see how much they were when I pulled them, and there'll be links right next to them so you can see the value of what they currently are now, both on TCG Player and eBay. Um, thanks for hanging around this box opening, and be sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, is Lorcana still going strong for you, or is it kind of, you know, not dead, but is the allure going away? Is the Disneyness of it wearing off, just like I believe that it might start to happen maybe in the next couple sets? But I'll catch everyone next time.